Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. Today on this episode, it's gonna take a couple of days. So I'm starting this out and I'm showing you what this pot is all about. What this is, is guess what? It's salt cod or codfish. Or buckle ya, what they say in Portuguese. And I pick some up, see the salt? There's all kinds of salt in this package. It is packed in salt. So what you have to do is reconstitute it or refresh it back to its natural form. So how you do that is you soak it in water and you have to do it for two days, two days, two days. Two days it takes to do this. So you soak it in water and you have to keep changing the water. And you change the water about, I don't know, three or four times. And I'm gonna do that throughout the day today. And tomorrow I'm gonna start making this beautiful meal. It's a Portuguese meal, it's called Buckle Ya. And it starts right here. So join me on the other side when we make buckle ya. Welcome back. All right, so today's the day. Today we are making our buckle ya. So I got my potatoes and I'm just peeling away, peeling away. And this is the start of it, okay? Making a whole mess as I'm doing, as you see here. Because right? if you ain't making a mess, <laughs> you ain't doing it right. So basically I'm gonna peel these potatoes. I'm gonna cut these potatoes up to size, bite size. You don't need big chunks of potato because it's going in this baking dish, right? Along with the codfish, along with all the other doodads and ingredients. It's a Portuguese dish. And there are, as with Portuguese soup, as with chorizo and peppers, the other Portuguese meals that I have on my show, check them out if you get a chance. There is as many recipes for this as there are Portuguese people. And I've said that before. I have a lot of baking that I'm doing today, a lot of cooking that I'm doing today. My crock pot's in service with my pot roast. I'm making my buckle ya, I'm making some cookies and stuff. The season's here so you can hear the Christmas music in the background, my friends. We are seriously, today is the day. I got my day off and I am gonna use it to the full. First church, now the bacon begins. All right, so here we go. I'm in half. Now what you want basically is you want to do like bite size, right? Something like that. Even smaller than that perhaps. Like diced potatoes, right? They don't have to be perfection. We are not chefs. We are chefs in our own kitchen. We're not necessarily working for a channel or a network, right? So if our cuts are not perfection, uh, we're not Food Network stars, right? <laughs> We are not, at least I'm not. There we go. Cut it like that. And I'm gonna keep dicing and, and chopping and dropping. And then on the other side, I'm gonna show you what we do with our codfish. And I'm gonna put some eggs in here too. Like, um, yeah, eggs, raw eggs. I'm gonna put a couple of raw eggs so they're gonna boil along with the potatoes. Stay tuned. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we're back. Now we're gonna work on the codfish portion of Mabacuya, which is a Portuguese delicacy, my friends. Now this is the bowl that I've had for about two and a half days that has been, here, come to the pot, I'll show you. Come to the bowl. Changing the water, because this is very salty fish. It's packed in salt to preserve it. So what you have to do to reconstitute the fish is put it in water for about two to three days. I'm putting it in two and a half days, and this is what it looks like. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the pot, so I'm gonna cut it up a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna cut it up and then put it inside. I'm gonna put it relatively whole, but cut it just a bit. See, it's come back from the very, very dry state that it was in. It's gonna be more flaky, which is what we want in our buckle, yeah. So I'm gonna cut it into chunks, put it in this pan and cover it with water. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna re-boil it till it's cooked, basically. So I wanna keep it as whole as possible. Because you can dry out fish too, you know. All right, so I'm gonna put water in this pan and absolutely no salt because it's buckle ya. <laughs> so this is a cod fish that was actually already packed in salt. So we don't wanna add any additional salt to this. 
because then it might muck it up and ruin it, right? The water was clear. That's a clear indicator. Ah, it used the plug. Yes, it did. That is cooked. Let me wash my hands. All right, now we're gonna add some water. And I always use bottled water. I got too much hot water in my, in my well. I have a well. So I use bottled water. All right, so I'm gonna put this in, just covering it. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Just covering it. Turn it on, on low, and I'm gonna slowly heat this up. I'm gonna cover this up. I already have this here. Now, I forgot to tell you, with the potatoes, let me just bring you to the pot so you can see what I mean. See, there's potatoes and I put eggs, and I did put salt in that water because potatoes like a little bit of salt. Where there's codfish, not so much. So I'm gonna cover this up, cook it until it's just pot cooked because we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, so join me on the other side for our Portuguese buckle yacht on a Sunday. How fabulous is that? Stay with me, friends. It's gonna be delicious. All right, welcome back. All right, so what I have here for you, is some garlic and chopped up cilantro, okay? I have olives that I diced, you know, like circles, actually, made my own. You can also buy them in a can, diced, right? Right now, what I'm doing, and you probably can't see it, <laughs> it's my dog. My dog gets into so much stuff, that dog. All right, so she just, <laughs> she bag dropped. She got all upset about it. Okay, it's okay, Coco, you're gonna be fine. All right, so I got this onion and I'm slicing it. I already have some in here, in the water. I know, I'm putting it in water. But, let me watch your fingers when you're doing this. So if you have to do it this way, do it this way. Cut across, I'm watching your fingers, and slice them like this. Slice them thin as you can. And we're gonna put them in the water. I know, we're putting it in the water. Why, why are we putting it in the water, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, thank you. What we're gonna do with it is we're gonna take the bitterness of it off by boiling it with with the crawfish. This is a way of taking off some of the, what do you call it? Oh, I don't know. I say the bitterness, but it's it's pungency of, of the onions. If we're gonna be cooking all of this stuff, the fish, pot cooking, why not cook the onions? Because that's a hard vegetable. Now I got this shut off and it's sitting there, it's already cooked the potatoes and I'm gonna take, fish the eggs out, put them in cold water. What the cold water does is it shocks the egg, separates the shell from the uh, actual egg itself and then it's easy to peel. Just a little tip, just a little tip if you're wondering. Welcome back. All right, so I've taken the fish out and the onions and what I'm doing right now is using my handy dandy masher and I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit, the codfish with the onions. Look what it looks like, see? There's some chunky pieces. But just mash it, the onions mash with it. C'est la vie, as they say, that's life. It's okay, it's okay. But I just wanna have this really good and mashed so that there's no pieces that might be, you know, unpalatable for somebody. Look at that, it looks so good already. The smell in this house, it's like, it's like a Portuguese house. My father was Portuguese. My mother was French and Irish and English. So this wasn't made in my house growing up. But that's okay, it doesn't have to be. All right, so that's good enough, good enough mashing is mashing. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is my potatoes, and they're pretty, look at that, pretty perfect right there. We're gonna layer this, and it's olive oil and stuff, and what I'm gonna put in this fish, it's probably not traditional, and that's okay, it's my own spin. I'm gonna put a little bit of light cream in it. Any brand will do, and I know, light cream, what? I am gonna put light cream in it, because I want that extra richness. Now, basically what this recipe is layered with is olive oil not cream but i'm gonna mix in the cream because i want that extra oomph of richness and you can put light cream half and half whatever you got all right here we go now 
I got my layers. First layer is gonna be olive oil and a generous amount at the bottom. I'm gonna use, a, it's a Portuguese olive oil, okay? A good amount, come on now. We gotta use a good amount. Okay, that means ready, ready, ready. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put the garlic and the greenage in with the fish. Mix it all in. And some parsley for spice. Here we go. Parsley, just a little bit, not too much, but parsley is what they usually use. Okay, now we got here, we got some fish, some potatoes. So let's put some potatoes in the bottom. Potatoes first. Okay, a couple of layers will do. It's all gonna go in. Let me push it here so you can actually see this. Okay, there you go, get some oil on that. And then this beauteous mixture goes in, okay? It's almost like a layered, Portuguese layered lasagna almost in the way it's set up. Okay, there we go. And put some pepper. I'm gonna grab some pepper. Now, like I said, I'm not using any, I'm not gonna use any um, salt in this. I'm gonna add some more layers here. Perfect. Now, I do have some, oh my goodness, looks good already, baby. And put some olive oil over the top of this. There really isn't a lot of fuss or muss with this, and that's what I like about Portuguese cooking. It's whatever you have in your house. And guess what? I'm gonna also use some red pepper flakes for some spice. So pepper, red pepper flakes. Not a whole lot. And the finishers, don't put too much because you don't want to burn people out. Just a little bit, okay. And that goes to taste. A little bit of parsley on the top. Oh man, my parsley thing, I gotta do it by hand. Okay, just put a little bit of parsley on top and it gives it a nice color, right? Look how pretty this is. And then the finishers are going to be the actual olives and eggs that are gonna go in at the last, like the 15 minutes at the end, okay? Now, if you need a little bit more liquid or so you don't dry this out, add a little bit more liquid. I saved some liquid, but be very careful if you put a little bit of, put a little bit of water. Don't put too much though from the cooking liquid. I put a little bit more. A little bit more olive oil will go on top. 350 degrees, cover it for 45 minutes, uncover it. Then you're gonna chop up, slice up your eggs. I'm gonna show you that in the end. So just watch as I finish this dish and it becomes perfecto. Ooh, still looking good, my friend, still looking good. But what we need is a crisp on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the final stretch here. So we have our eggs and we have our olives. So we're gonna put our eggs on and you just go here, there and everywhere with them. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. Get some eggs on there. So pretty. They're gonna make it look so festive and pretty to have the eggs on, I love it. Here we go. Look how pretty that looks. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. And look, here's some eggs. Just fill the hole in there with the eggs. <laughs> there we go. Now that looks perfecto. All right, beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, fabuloso. Okay, and there you go, stick them in there like that. Mm. Now, the finisher is the olives. I'm gonna put them in last and also the greenage I'm gonna put in last. So we're gonna put it in uncovered for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fabulous the potatoes crisp up, okay? Come to the pan, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks but we're gonna make it even better. Let's crisp it up and on the other side, I will show you what this final dish can do for you and your family. Happy Sunday, everyone. Okay, welcome back. This is it, the reveal. Just took it out of the oven. It took about a little over an hour, I would say. This is what it looks like, but we're gonna make it even better, friends. Wait, just wait, hold it, hold it. Okay. I'm gonna finish it with my favorite finisher in the world. 
Okay, put some greenage. I could always use some greenage, you know? I just love my greenage. You can use parsley. I'm not using parsley. Don't say nothing. You don't say nothing, I'm not gonna say nothing. This is cilantro. I know, it's not Portuguese. But it doesn't have to be. All right, here we go. Now, the finisher, babies, is some olives. And I like to keep them cold versus in the heat. You could do the same thing with the eggs if you wanted, but I like the eggs to marry a little bit in the broth to make them more well-rounded. Buckle ya. Yeah. And this is my version. Like I said, there is as many versions of this recipe as there are Portuguese people, and there are a lot of Portuguese people in the world. Just in case you were wondering. Just in case you were wondering. And I'm just gonna put it here, there, everywhere. And look at aesthetically how fabulous. This is amazing. Now, what you could do too is add a little oil to the top. Just to make it a little bit more, I don't know, a little more juicy. Just put a little bit more oil on here. And this is what it looks like, my friends. This is what it looks like. It looks amazing. Look how beautiful this dish is. This is a dish that's being made around the holiday season and you could serve this at your next holiday festivities and you would be the superstar. This is Portuguese buckle, y'all. Come, come to the pan, my friends. Come to the pan, can you see it? Look how gorgeous, look how juicy, look how fabulous this is. And if you like or enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed making it for you, Please like, subscribe, and join me next time for Everything Spice. Happy Sunday, everyone. Be safe.